Hey, welcome back. So I want to do this quick video. You can see that Unify 5.2.0 has been released for testing. And the new feature here is they've added minimum rate control for UAPs. Also some notes that if you're going to use the Smart QQOS, that DPI will not work if you're using this because the traffic will not be uh, offloaded. And they say it's also worth noting that maximum throughput will be affected when using Smart QQOS as traffic is not offloaded. And there's an article here that you can go to that gives you some rough guidelines. Uh, what else did they change since uh, we're on 5.1.1? They've exposed SDN log level, added handling of events pushed from back in, added turn support for debug terminal, improved the RF environment, a fixed loading of Chinese translations, added Polish translations, added SV and NL languages for hotspot portal, fixed editing image maps, added sorting hotspot packages, fixed sorting PoE power, added radius port for network configuration, added sites overview device list. And it looks like then there's also some hardware bug fixes and changes on the firmware. So let's let's get to it. So I am not going to make a backup through the GUI, the GUI. I am going to download that package and see if it will do it for us real quick. So the first thing we'll do is we'll scroll down here and this will be our, our download link here that we'll need. So let's go ahead and get into our controller. Or, uh, yeah, into our controller. And you can see we've got the old, the old one there, so we'll remove this. And we'll copy our link address. Some really good download speeds there. All right, so now we'll do our sudo dpackage hyphen i for install unify, and we'll put our password in. I think that was totally wrong. Try that again. It's going to stop our controller. Do you have a backup? It is recommended that you create a backup. No, I don't. The installation will be canceled. Okay, so what we are going to do, let's see. So what did it do? Previous setting, depackage, error, uh, abort upgrade, please install previous version. Interesting. So I wonder what happened here. If I refresh this, is it running? It is not running. So that's interesting. So always make your manual backup. We'll tell it, yes, we have a backup. And this is our lab system. But I wanted to get through this so we could take a look at, at the interface. <clears throat> and see what it looks like real quick. But that's interesting that if you don't have a backup, they, they kill that. I think that's fantastic. That's an awesome way to make sure that people are enabling their, their safety net. So now you can see we're on version 5.2.0. So we'll go ahead and get logged in. Invalid username or password. Well, that's not what you want to see. Okay, so right now I have the USG and the switch and the LR pulled out temporarily. We can see that there is an upgrade available for this. So we'll go ahead and do that.
So that guy's going to upgrade. Let's poke around and see what we've got here. Statistics. Everything's looking pretty much the same. We'll have to look and see. What all uh, those changes? Let's see, what was the big change? Added minimum rate control for UAPs. So we'll take a look at this configuration. Let's see. Radios. Hmm. Their band steering, airtime fairness. So we're upgrading, but I'm not seeing any any like huge changes that are that are jumping out here. So I'm I'm gonna take it pretty much as written here. And some of these bug fixes are are needed. So let's see the hardware. UAP G2, UAP, so we'll have some some changes there. The switch, switch issue, switch issue, USG issue. So we we are upgraded as our access point. And I've got no LED yet. So I am assuming. Yep, now we're blinking white. I can actually see this. UAP from where I'm recording this. So we are upgraded. And I'm just going to make sure everything comes up. I'm going to pause this until the hardware comes back up. Okay, so we are reprovisioned. And I, I think we're in pretty good shape here. We've already got five users connected again. As you can see, everything came, came back up. And if you've got any questions, post them in the comments below. If you want to see something, you know, a particular item in, in this version of the controller, let me know. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share, and we will see you at the next video.